Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today I've got a special treat for you. We're gonna talk about networking. Networking is how you connect your YOLO Live to the internet. So there's three main ways to do that. First way is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is that wireless internet that's everywhere. I have nothing to show because it's invisible. The second thing is cellular. Cellular is when you put a SIM card inside the YOLO box and then you don't need to be near a building. You just need to have cellular coverage and you can stream directly from inside the device. Lastly is Ethernet. Ethernet is hooking up to your local network via a wire. This is a CAT6A cable, nice and thin. I like these for doing little jumps between things. This is how you can connect and it's the most reliable way because there's no wireless, there's no Wi-Fi. It is direct connect into the YOLO box. So let's get started. I have here a YOLO box mini and you can see on the back here, there is, I have my HDMI out. So we're gonna be able to see the screen and that right there is the ethernet. So first and most importantly, we plug this in and I have ethernet connectivity. You can see it lights up. That's a key point. If it doesn't light up, there's nothing at the other end because ethernet is a negotiation between your device and a host computer or a host router, I should say. And when that lights up, that means uh, it's been negotiated, your device is given an IP address, and now it's connected. I'm not gonna get it too deeply into networking in this point. Um, I'm just talking about ways to connect the YOLO box. So I assume whatever you plug into is issuing DHCP or a dynamic IP address to your device. Now you can see on the back here, I've got connectivity and let's look at the device. We're going to click on the little person. We're going to go on network settings. We're not going to go on Wi-Fi. We're going to go network on internet. We've got ethernet. We click on that and you can see it is on. My ethernet configuration is DHCP. Or if you are in a specific location that will issue you an IP address or you are connecting to devices and you want to have a static IP address, this is where you could set a static IP address to match your existing network. Save that, go back out. Next, we have mobile network. Right now, there's nothing there. And we're gonna talk about that right now. With a mobile network, that's where you have a cellular plan for data. And I have a 4 gig, 4G LTE SIM right here. And we are gonna plug that in. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect our ethernet and then on the bottom of the device you can see right here is the sim card slot you can find a sim card slot on every single one of the yolo boxes mini the original yolo box and the yolo box pro all have built in 4g lte sim capability so they all come with a little device which is handy for poking in the little hole. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And when you push it in, the drawer pops out. And then I like to slide it under the tip here to get a better purchase on the SIM card tray. Doo -doo -doo. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little beveled edge here that matches the beveled edge of the SIM card. So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna drop it on the floor. No, kidding. We're going to put it right in here so it sits in the little tray. Dun, dun, dun. Slide it back in and close it. That's it. Now, let's look again at our connection, network and internet. We're going to click on that. We're going to click on mobile network. And now you can see that these menus are active. And also, up here in the corner, Right up here, you can see I have a cellular indicator in addition to my Wi-Fi indicator. Both of these are available. Going back to the menu, you can see I have mobile data activated, roaming, come down to advanced. I have 4G LTE, 
activated. Wi-Fi calling obviously is off. I'm not calling. But those are the key factors. Now, what I ha also have is I have my Wi-Fi, which we talked about is built in. Let's click on this. And I am clicked, connected to my Google Wi-Fi in the office. Now, Google Wi-Fi, it's just this little Wi-Fi puck or made by Google. And you can connect to any Google or any Wi-Fi. You just need to know the SSID or the name and then the password. Type them in and you're good to go. The nice thing is right here in the menu, it'll show you what else is available. And I can see all kinds of internets, like someone has one called the internet. How do I connect to the internet? And then the internet guest. You can see right over here, these are all locked. These are all going to require a password in order to access them, including mine. But I'm already connected to mine, which is right here. And it says I am connected. So built into this right down here, I'm going to get this right someday. Right here, it says network test. We're going to click on network test and I'm going to move out of the way. And what this does is this opens up a web page so that we can test the network. We're going to say go. And we're going to see how fast my connection is. It's going to take the fastest connection right now. It's going to use Wi Fi. So I've got 100 megabits down on my Wi Fi 120, 125. Maybe 130, 130, do I hear 130, 105? Ooh, it's looking good. Next up, we have our upload speed, and this is actually the most critical. Your upload speed is what really determines how good your stream is. Now, this says my upload speed is about 23. You're always going to want to leave a bit of headroom in between what you are sending and what the tested upload speed is. So if my tested upload speed is 23, I really don't need more than 10. I might use five to eight. Let us now go in here and leave this Wi-Fi. Let's turn Wi-Fi off. Now, what that means is if I go in the network and the internet, what you're gonna see is right up here, 4G. That little Wi-Fi indicator that was there a moment ago, that's gone because I turned it off. Now, the only thing I have available because I have not plugged in, this is not plugged in either, the only thing I have available is cellular. So now let's test cellular. Do, do, do. We back out of this, go to the network test. Click go. connecting. You can see already it's taking a little bit longer than the last test did. And my bandwidth is vastly different. Cellular can be a resource if there's nothing else. But I would not rely on cellular as your primary source of internet. Always, if you are at a venue, uh, see if you can get a landline or Wi-Fi. Here you go. You can see my upload speed is one megabit a second here in my office. Ooh, two. I might do a 720p stream with that. I wouldn't try to do anything bigger. 720p 30, 720p 25. That might be all I'd really try to push. And I'd want to keep it under two, 1.5 megabits, maybe. Uh, if I was outside of my office, now maybe that might be better. And I might have better bandwidth if I was very much outside, like at an outdoor event. But then the other thing to remember with cellular connectivity is my SIM does not give me any priority over everyone else at the event who might also be streaming with their phone, uploading pictures, downloading video. All of that bandwidth is coming from the same towers that my bandwidth is coming from. So you're sharing it and that tower might be full. And that's a limitation of cellular. You're at the mercy of what's available at the nearest tower. Let's go back in and we're going to go to network and internet, we're going to go to mobile network, and we're going to turn that off. Now we are going to plug in our ethernet again. And you can see up here, this symbol 
with the two arrows and the line in between, that is the symbol that means Ethernet or a wired connection. So we are going to check our Ethernet. All right, you can see right there, the plug-in connection is now the primary connection. Let us go into our settings and do a network test. Now, interestingly, this is actually slower than my Wi-Fi, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, you know, the, the Wi-Fi is coming directly from my router, whereas on the local network, I have other things going on. So it may be competing with local traffic on my local area network, as opposed to the Wi-Fi is coming directly from the router, and it's like a separate pathway. So my upload speed, still around 23, not much better than when I was on Wi-Fi, but you can see that the wired download speed is actually considerably lower on a wire than it was through Wi-Fi. So wired or Wi-Fi seem to be interchangeable today in my office. And cellular seems like it's not going to be a great solution for trying to stream from my office in the YOLO box. But that's an issue with cellular. I personally have T-Mobile and I find T-Mobile can be hit or miss. Sometimes I have difficulty making calls where I am. So I may be in a cellular sort of dead zone in my home office here. All right, and Ethernet, you can see now I am in the middle of the test and that Ethernet light is blinking. That is a great indicator that it is active and I am using it. You can see now that that test is done, the blinking has changed. Now I am pushing data so that the lights on the back of the YOLO box are great tools in assessing the fact that I am both connected, the green light, and I have data passing, which is the yellow light, that it's active. It's actively moving data back and forth. So having a wired connection also delivers that. Also, do take note that there's also indicators right up here. So if I do this test again, I say go, and I do this test again, you'll actually see these indicators up here talk about how much data is moving back and forth. So ready, set, go. Now I'm pulling down. You can see I'm pulling down, it says four megabytes a second. You can see my upload speed is one megabyte. And now when the test is done, it drops down to nothing. So right now it's not passing any data back and forth. The on-screen indicators right here are also very useful tools to know that you are connected, you are pushing data, or you are pulling data right there. So you can see I'm on a wire and I have my data connectors right here as well as the indicators on the back of the unit as well. So this has been my look at networking on the YOLO box, both the YOLO box mini, pro, and the original YOLO box all have the same networking capability, 4G LTE or Wi-Fi or Ethernet. My name is Anthony Brokus for YOLO Live. See you next time.